What's up guys? Long time no see. What is going on? Jamie here. Keto like Jamie on Instagram. I feel like I've literally been missing. Um, I swear I haven't been. I did a little bit of traveling and then I literally got sick as you can hear my voice. But today I want to show you guys how to use natural remedies instead of toxic chemicals to deal with your sickness. So let's get to it. Oh, and if you think I look different, it's because I do. I got hair, literally got hair implanted in my head. Not really implanted, it's just hair extensions. But if you're like, oh my God, why does, what is it that she did? Yes, that's what it is. I like having hair, what can I say? Back to where we started. Um, I think that most people, when they get sick, they run to the drugstore and just get all of the pills and cough syrups and all of the toxic chemicals they can to try and get better but that's not the answer. And there are tons of natural substances that you can use to help combat or treat illness or, or cold or whatever it is. Um, I believe it's just a cold, I hope it's not the flu, but I'm gonna take you guys through some different things that I do. So some things that I rely on are teas, um, supplements, and like apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I make. Oh, here's one of our wild foods teas. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but we do have a whole line of teas. This is incredible. Um, it's organic and it's got uh, organic South African green rooibos, ginger, lemongrass, and lime. And this one's caffeine free. This one is honestly probably one of our best sellers. So I'm gonna do a little bit of tea. Uh, so here you go guys, this is some of the stuff that I rely on. Oregano oil, um, this one is, why is it not? Uh, amazing, it's antifungal, antibacterial, antiseptic. I literally just take a dropper of this and put it right down my throat. It's really strong, people think I'm crazy. It's probably because I am. Um, this can be a killer. If you feel a tickle in the throat, take this and it could potentially get rid of the rest of the sickness. You can also mix it into liquids or whatever you need to do. We have some elderberry syrup here, our wild fish oil, our wild turmeric, wild CBD, apple cider vinegar, of course, with the mother, it's important, and some local honey. The so elderberry syrup is supposed to be really powerful in fighting sickness. Um, I just take one teaspoon of this a day. You can get it at like a natural food store. It's better than all the other syrups you're getting at the drugstore. Fish oil is so key. It, um, healthy fats for your brain, reduces inflammation. Just, you just need it every day. Um, turmeric also reduces inflammation. I'm gonna do a video on these three things for female menstrual cycle. So right now, I'm going to make a tea right here with a lemon and honey, and then I'll show you guys how I do my apple cider vinegar. Okay, so I've got my boiling water here. I'm gonna pour it into my tea. I'm gonna let this steep for four minutes. Put it into a plain cup or a plain glass for the apple cider vinegar. So the reason why I'm making this video today is because Obviously, you guys know I'm super passionate about health and wellness. Um, I think that the pharma industry is absolutely wreaking havoc on our society, and it's crucial that we really start moving to natural substances to cure or take care of our ailments. The toxic chemicals that they're using in these medicines and pain relievers, they're literally kill killing us. So it's gonna be up to us to move away from that. Take what your doctor says with a grain of salt. It's really unfortunate that this is the case, but it's true because they're gonna tell you to take pills and take over-the-counter drugs, and this is very harmful. So do your research. I can't recommend it enough, and just try and use all the natural remedies possible. Okay, steeped for four minutes. I'm gonna squeeze a half a lime in there because lime is just so, so good for you. Even if you're not sick, epic for everyday use. All those antioxidants, vitamin C, good. And then in that concoction, I'm gonna do this local honey. You always wanna do local honey because it like adapts you to your local environment. Um, I'm just gonna do a tablespoon of honey. I try to steer clear of honey during regular, you know, regular times, but because I'm sick, I'm gonna do honey. It helps with sickness. So guys, this is literally one of the most delicious teas I've ever had. I'm not just saying that because it's wild foods. 
it's just the case. The lemon and the honey make it literally epic. So this is really good if you're sick. Now that's one option. The, the next option is warm water, and then I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. This is also antifungal and just super powerful stuff. And you can add a little bit of honey into that as well. I would suggest drinking apple cider vinegar and lemon every day. Um, you can also squeeze half a lime in the ACV as well. Options for you guys. You can do the ginger tea um, with lemon. You can even add the apple cider vinegar in there, but in case you, know, you just wanted them separate, uh, you can do that as well, but I love combining them. I also love drinking the tea at night like randomly So I know that video is a little different from my normal recipes, but I hope you guys liked it Be sure to subscribe and like below. I always appreciate your support here It's been a lot of fun and by the way, I'm getting a little bit closer to a thousand subscribers on YouTube so Tell your friends, tell your family, send out the emails. No, I'm kidding. But um, help support the girl trying to get to a thousand. Um, someone made a hashtag, get Jamie to a thousand. So help me out, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.